Hello, I protect children. And I talk to children. When they may be unsafe at home. And then I'll find out what has happened to I'll them. I'll find ways to help to families. make it safe for children. So that they do not need to feel confused. Scared. Or worried. So I keep you safe, okay? Ini semua pemalas. Malah bikin kerja. Gaji nak besar. They haven't married lah. Oh, CPO I know. CPO uh, case is before you become CPO, you don't have uh, you cannot marry. That's why they don't know. Then can go to our son school, take away our son like that. Kelakar ke apa? Ask them to come out. The director also ask them to come out. Yes. Yes. I happened to be going out of the office and I heard a commotion. So I invited them to the room because it's a safe place and then they can calm down. So I understand you wanted to talk to one of us. Yeah. yeah. When when we can get back our side. Mm. Mm. Yeah, because we don't have any violence, everything, so they just take away my son like that. Mm. We decided to remove the boy directly from school because the parents had an altercation in public in front of the child's school a few days back. My Zura never clarify, never check, never what. She just go to the school and take my son away like that. So if like that, I can charge her under kidnapping also, can right? Because she just come to the school and just take my son away, they never tell us. If we are not sure whether another episode of the harm can occur, but removal has to be done. Uh, good afternoon, child protection. Oh, okay. Um, just a few cl clarifications. Um, is the child with any injuries now? Okay, when did this happen now? People might think that we are, might be playing God. But of course, we have to make the hard decisions. It is difficult. Time is really not on our side. She wanted to go and bail, but she was not 21 yet, so she mm. asked the father. I'm one of the newer officers. I only joined Child Protective Service six months ago. So these are some of the cases that I'm working on. I'm working on currently about 40 to 50 cases. The number of child abuse cases investigated by CPS has increased over the years. So if you look at about 2013, um, it was about 300 odd cases. But last year, we investigated close to about 1,000 over cases. We are the Child Protective Service. We have responsibilities under the Children and Young Persons Act to ensure uh, that the child is safe. Uh, can I use uh, this one for you? This one, your pao pao. Your pao pao. <laughs> can I you sleep here? OK? Papa sleep, Papa sleep here, OK? No, I want to sleep here. Yeah. Oh, okay lah, okay lah.
，小黄鱼和乌龟做朋友，和乌龟做朋友啊。The father has proven many times that he can have safe and meaningful interactions with the child, and he also shares a good relationship with the child. So actually, we are starting the process of reuniting the child back to the father. This is one of the first few cases that I was assigned to. When I took over the case, the parents have finalized their divorce, and the father has made significant progress ever since. I sometimes take him out to the outside, to Sentosa. He really likes to go out. Yeah. 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 我会买那个粉红色的，因为他刚刚回来，怕他哦，他也是生疏，怕半夜什么怕。嗯嗯嗯。啊，这样我尽量陪在他。嗯嗯。法官不给我也没。At first, I thought that the case will be quite stable because the case has been with us for quite a few years. However, I also realized that all cases at child protection are quite complex. 嗯。万一你的太太来到这个家的时候，来这个家啊，你会怎么做？我报警。报警啊！报警！对，这个最好是报警。嗯，我我很怕他。啊，比如啦，比如以前啊，在家的时候，他无缘无故跟我吵架。嗯。啊，吵架一吵架就他怕脾气的那个什么那个东西就跟我乱丢，那个风扇也跟我弄破。嗯。啊，这样吵得越凶的时候，他就抱抱我女儿去那个窗口那边，要丢下我的女儿。嗯，啊，这样我就跑去那边去拉住他的手，我说你你不可以这样做，嗯，啊，他就拿个刀要吃我，嗯，可能会有一些新的状况会发生，所以我们做了这个安全计划，就会很像如果有状况发生，我们就懂要怎么应变啦、啊嗯。我要什么都不要，嗯，那小小就在去外面了。嗯Usually, the person who threatens the child's safety is a household member, and in this case, it is the child's mother. As a natural parent, it is unlikely that she will give up the care of the child. Every decision that I make may have a direct impact on the child's life. So even though we are the ones who remove the child from home, we still want the child to maintain in contact with the mother. แม่เวลลี่ลูกต้องการวัสมอต้องการแม่วันกำไม่ได้ต้องกินไปดีบุตรฮะไม่เอาอ่ะวัสมอฉันชื่อแม่เช่นเจ้าหัวหิวเดี
what is important for us is actually the child's uh, safety and well-being. That's a non-negotiable. In a worst-case situation, if we do need to, we may have to remove the child. Kita jumpa anak perempuan dia, dia nangis. Anak, jadi kita, mak bapak dia, kita rasa macam sedih. Macam, eh, kenapa ya anak aku macam ini? Tak tahu, kita ni mak bapak dia. Saya sebagai mak bapak pun, kita macam tekilan lah, tak dapat besarkan anak-anak. Lepas mata, baik yang pertama, baik yang kedua. Sit lah. Ya? Okey, ambil sit. Okey, habis hidup aku pegang. Eh, dia boleh diri lah. Tak lah, dia boleh stand pun. Eh? Tak besar. Hmm. Eh? Seluar dia koyak. Ha? Seluar dia. Hmm. Adik. <laughs> you growing. Ha? Cis. 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 What she feel as a mother? We feel like useless become a parents. So definitely when I removed the child from the school, there was a lot of anger from the father, the mother, um, the paternal grandparents. Saya sedih sebab seminggu sekali dua jam je. Ya. Tak puas. <laughs> so now is 34 weeks, five days. <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. So I ada tu takut lah yang ter baby ni derang akan datang and just take away. We are considering whether there's a need for the baby to be removed from the parents' care. It's because that there are still ongoing violence between the parents. We are here today because you want to talk about what opportunity can there be for this newborn child? What can you suggest to us that you know we can work with so that the baby can remain with both of you? The baby being a very vulnerable child um, is at risk of being indirectly or directly harmed whenever the parents have fights, physical fights. And we're also trying to see how we can explore ways for the baby to remain under the parents' care. If we've been given this chance for this unborn, third-born baby to place with my parents and her in-laws, 
I just do my part as father okay. and husband. From now, I be a hundred percent husband to her. We have tried with your parents before, and at this point of time, we don't assess that they can continue to be the effective and suitable, safe persons any further. You see, so we really want to encourage you to consider whether there's anyone else within your family that we can oh. tap on. Yeah, but from now but we don't have anyone. Yeah. My auntie have leukemia. Okay. Okay, she can take care of. Then my uncle have TB and sell every time going to hospital. So for us like that cannot. Maybe this situation could be an opportunity to get family support because family support is very important. No matter how things are going well or that family support actually helps. Everyone needs support. Yeah, so correct. I but eat, yeah. we got no one else. Okay. You know, having this newborn in alternative care is a last resort for us. And as much as possible, we want to push for there to be family members that can come in to help out. What because we... that's the only that is really the most effective. Because right now, what we need from the family, from the both of you, is there has to be someone that can be with you, if the baby is to remain under your care. Because this person plays a very important role to support and ensure that the child is safe. Like this kind of situation, I will I already can judge that we will never get our kids back, and definitely this number three going to foster. So, I can see already lah. Macam dari first sampai second, sampai third, yang dah besar nanti lupa mak bapak. Kan, macam mereka cakap mereka nak bonding, kan, family bonding. Macam ini tak guna. Ini bukan family bonding. So, I do... Eh. Ha, dah malas lah. Dia buat baik-baik pun, sebut tak nak dengar. So, kita balik pun bagus lah. Okay, okay, sabar, sabar. Tak ada. Masa kita dah cakap, kita dah tak ada siapa-siapa. But, they keep say, oh, mention... We, have, we still have time to find people. Usually, the person who threatens the child's safety is a household member, and in this case, it is the child's mother. As a natural parent, it is unlikely that she will give up the care of the child. Okay. Oh, okay. It's you every day in the MSF, right? And the child is also with your father. It's the same thing 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 with your father. So, because we have assessed his safety, he's okay. So, you can also move on. You can move on. Then, you can take him out. 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 This is okay. Okay. You can do it. Okay. Okay. We are also very grateful that you are willing to work with us. I believe you are. Okay. Thank you. I feel quite fortunate that this mother is willing to work with me and we are able to build a good working relationship. Usually parents are quite angry and upset, especially when their child is removed at the initial stages. So now,你现在是在这边，我们只是偶尔来看你的互动，可以吗？所以这些东西你如果做到的话，我们就可以慢慢增加你的时间啦。所以现在你是在这边，我们呃，如果你有进步的话，就是这些东西有做到的话，我们
Thành ra chứ cô không có kết bạn với ai là lý do như vậy á If her purpose safe adults are not suitable, then we have to delay the progression of the outings uh, outside of MSF. Chồng cô, cái lông tem cô nó chưa chưa có, cho nên nó là cô phải chờ đợi cái đó. Um, bây giờ là ba tháng là cô phải về, về rồi xong vài ngày cô qua trở lại. As mother is a Vietnamese, we are also concerned on whether she is able to stay in Singapore. Because it's if the mom has to return back to Vietnam for like a few weeks or up to a few months, it will be disrupting for the child to form attachment with her mother. How is it, ma? Hơi quản là hơi to, IB khởi gì nè? Sư quản mềm bao mà. Nông sao sẽ xưa. Quả bút sang sinh tha. Đi tinh nhỏ cho phai. Quả phai. Quả căng căng chéo hơn xinh mà. Tha ai xinh bố gì ăn gì sẹn. Quả mấy đồ chéo hơn bố khởi gì trai Singapore nè. Suy bế đến bút khởi gì tan bào ồ Bút khởi gì đó Ok chào anh đó Ok bye bye Một bây giờ kì xe Like this kind of situation, I will, I already can judge that we will never get our kids back. Macam dorang cakap dorang nak bonding kan, family bonding. Macam gini tak guna. Ini bukan family bonding. So I do. Hey. I just miss my kids ah. When the case was actually referred to Child Protective Service, on further investigation, we actually found that there was chronic spousal violence, especially during the time when she was pregnant. And the children were seeing their mother being injured very regularly. The reason why we are considering whether there's a need uh, for the baby to be removed from the parents' care is because that there are still ongoing violence between the parents. CPO semua dah, dah, dalam dunia ni ada kuasa. Tak ada, tak ada. Macam, macam apa, lu orang cakap apa, kau orang gaduh kat sekolah. Bila masa kau orang gaduh kat sekolah? Kau orang nenek dia. Betul tak? Ya, uh -uh, sebab dia uh, on that day, dia kerja. Kita. Lepas tu, kan kat dalam bilik. Habis mereka tak dengar kita punya explanation? Mereka tak siasat, mereka tak siasat, betul. Mereka tahu apa yang uh, kerja, tarik anak orang, tarik anak orang. The information that I got where they had an altercation in front of the child's school came from very credible sources. These were very real worries about the child's safety that um, as child protection officers that I cannot ignore. Dalam rumah tangga semua ada gaduh apa? Kalau tak ada gaduh kan aku tepuk tangan lah. Perfect lah tak ada gaduh. For each couple, definitely there will be difficulties. For this particular family, we were especially concerned because not only was the violence occurring very frequently, but the um, mother of the children was reported to have suffered a lot of injuries as well, especially during the time when she was pregnant. video, CCTV semua. Okay, kalau betul ada orang cakap kita bertengkar kat luar depan anak, tunjuk video. The parents, they continue to disagree with CPS recommendations. So actually, this case, we brought the matter to court. 
So after I have um, prepared the court report, I'll be serving it on the parents. Tengok ah, CPO punya report kat kita. Macam Ini Diorang punya Afi David. Ini dah jadi apa dah? Dah dah macam apa? Tukuan tu lah sama. Tapi ini lagi besar. Tukuan lagi besar. Macam macam kes besar. Kan? Pasal kita tak nak sign. Macam apa? Macam kes kau dengan anak. Tak, kita tak nak sign. Kau nak dengan anak. Ini sekarang CPS punya Afi David eh. Tapi jangan terpanjat. Kita pay kecil. Walaupun kecil kan, tapi kita boleh menang. Sebab ada evidence. Affidavits are documents that both CPS and the parents will have to prepare and submit to court for the court to weigh and to read, you know, in order to for for the for the court to provide a judgment on the case. The affidavit that we submitted to court actually contains medical reports from the hospital that outlines what happened and the possible medical neglect. There was also information that included specific incidents, reported incidents about the ongoing spousal violence. Child Protective Service, we received um, some videos that actually captured um, a, you know, an altercation between um, the father and the mother as well as the mother's family in public and which um, you know law enforcement had to intervene as well. Belajar dengan dia, each time I lari pergi rumah mak. Okay, to avoid macam gaduh tu lagi besar kat rumah. When this thing happen is, saya nak pergi pujuk dia balik rumah. So, jadi lain. Habis kakak dia nak pergi tegur dulu. Pasal dia nak maki, s**t apa lah semua. Bila dia orang nak berubut anak, nak tumbuk anak tak dapat kan. Sekarang nasib baik saya ada jadi pendinding. Uh, Terus lepas geram, makin, makin rabat lah. CPS is very concerned about what is depicted in the videos because it shows everything that we were worried about, that the parents continue to involve their child in the crossfire. We also received another video, which was a video taken by the father um, that depicted him teaching the child to say certain vulgar words um, and also to teach the child to reject the mother. We also had concerns about the father continuing to involve the child in their conflictual relationship. Okay, okay. Okay. Kau apa pun kau buat kat aku, kau dosa kat aku ke aku dah maafkan kau siang-siang. That dynamic between the couple could have led to almost medical neglect and to the detriment of the child's health. Eventually, when the child was brought to the hospital, um, he actually had to be resuscitated at the children's emergency, which is why we, we had to step in. Teruk gila. Teruk gila. Macam kadang-kadang nak tak sepak-sepak je diri sendiri. Bila nampak affidavit daripada orang ada perasaan macam sedih, takut. Nangis tu ada nangis. Um, memanglah takutlah kita akan kalah, kan? People often think that our job is to simply remove children and break up families. Hey, hello. Come, come. Wow. Come. Hanto, 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 and at the same time, we also want to rebuild the relationship between the parent and the child. Happy birthday. Ah, birthday. Happy 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 bir
birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to Meme. Yeah, buya her soy. Yeah, her soy. Okay, so sweet. At the initial stages, the child display unwillingness to interact with the mom. But usually, as the excess goes on, mom will be able to interact adequately with the child. Wow. I am hopeful that the relationship will improve because mother is trying. It's just that she will need more time. But in this case, before mom can spend time with her child outside of MSF, we have to ensure that there is a safe adult who can help supervise their interactions. Come, come. 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 You just got married to mother, so yes. yeah, it became a significant part of like the mother's life. So mm. we need to like just talk to you a bit, get to know you better. Today we are meeting with the child's stepfather because mother has proposed her new partner to be a safe adult, and we will be assessing him on his suitability to assist in the care of the child. Are you known to any, to the police, like CMB, MSF, prison, boys home or probation before? Oh, yeah. When I was younger, like, you know, for some uh, rioting, some, you know. Any more aside from this one? Mm, about 10 years back, uh, I've been involved with a case uh, because I tried to uh, help my friend to bring some girls in from... <laughs> Mm. Overseas, yeah. Mm. Went to prison for that, lah. You know. Okay. How long was it? Like three years. Three years. Okay. So only have these two. Mm. Any other like? Mm, like uh, I was fined for secret offence, and but I didn't go to jail, lah. You know, mm. just paid a fine. Okay. Is that all, or do you have any more? Oh, that's, that's all. Uh. That's all. Uh. Okay. So we wanted to let you know that we may have reports to say that uh, there was some history with drugs. Mm. Do you have anything to share about that with us? Drug tests, uh, anyway. We wanted to let you know that we may have reports to say that uh, there was some history with drugs. Mm. Do you have anything to share about that with us? Drug tests, <laughs> I mean. I was involved like younger like this, so you know, I'm a changed person now. Like, I, mm. uh, so, I even finished my urine supervision and all that. So there were some concerns about the stepfather's past and also because he is quite a new partner for a mother. It's a big decision to introduce someone new to the child's life. So I have to consult with my supervisor and my team about this. Yeah. Jumpa itu speak oh my. Aku cakap dengan dia. Baba dia, baba kalau jumpa dia bab baru dah dia depan-depan. Betul. Tak kalau ini kalau anak nombor 3 dia ambil kan, dia jumpa dia dipukul d
Tak ada bilangan dia. Cakap dengan dia. Ha, dia tak boleh berbual lah. Dia punya manusia ha, sikit dia, lah. Tak dia tak boleh berbual. Dia, dia tak Because parents are unable to propose any relatives or friends to be assessed as the safe adult or caregivers for the child, um, foster care is actually the only viable option to ensure the child's safety. You rasa ni good idea tak macam kita kasih anak foster? Tak. Then, uh. Tak. Belum habis sentence. As in. Mak bapak mana yang nak anak nak kita cari? Yes, I know. But think of the better side, kita boleh still bergaing kap kita. Betul tak? Dapat macam, you know, bila budak-budak balik and then orang dah boleh ada better education, kita dah boleh support orang, ada duit, tak macam dulu, you know? Kan? Tak. Don't do too much lah. Tak lah. Tak boleh accept lah. Hoping untuk dapat anak balik, tak boleh lah. So, you rasa you boleh make it true? Tak boleh. Tak boleh. Memang kita pun tak tahu dia tinggal mana. And you have to know, I accept ni fostering pun sebab... Sebab you gila. Bukan I sebab tak accept, Ya, yeah, of course. Mak mana yang nak accept, kan? Kenapa saya cakap tak mahu sign lah. Nadia, wanted to update you about the case. Mm. So, parents said that they are agreeable for the child to be in foster care mm -hmm. uh, because they have some family relationship issues. Okay, did they share why they wanted the child in foster care? Um, well, mom shared that she wanted the, they wanted the child to be in foster care so that they can um, stabilize themselves mm -hmm. first while the child remains in a stable environment. Okay, then uh, in that case, then we can just proceed to request for foster placement. So I know it's going to be hard for us, especially me. Kita kena kuatkan diri kita, okay? Right now, we are on the way to foster parents. The parents, their relationship is quite volatile, and sometimes this involves uh, violence during their arguments. Um, while the child being caught in the crossfire of the parents' um, violent relationship is, is still just a chance, you know, but we, CPS, we cannot take that risk, um, given that he's still a newborn and um, still vulnerable. So he can't, you know, run away, he can't, um, protect himself or you know seek help for himself if he's in unsafe situations so parents um, they will still see the child regularly so we will arrange for um, the baby to have regular contacts with the parents just like his siblings um, at MSF office <gasps> so when a child is taken out of the family a lot of people would think that the work ends there but on the contrary, actually, that's where the work begins for Child Protective Service. We have to come in to work as fast as possible with the family to reunify uh, the children back home. Because actually, time is really not on our side. As the children grow older, it is more difficult for the children to return home. You want to fight Ayi, is it? Uh huh. But why are you scared of me? I gave you strawberry biscuits the other time, remember? You couldn't find your strawberry biscuit. Correct? I still remember you. Cry, 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 cry. Then where we found the biscuit? Do you remember? In the bag. Yep, in the bag. I helped you find your strawberry mouth. biscuit in your bag. Eh? Head up. Hello? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why you take out your shoe? Oh, I'm trying. To tighten it? 
Yes, later I drop it. So later, there's somebody else other than Mehmet. He'll be here with you, okay? If you feel uncomfortable, like you're scared or you're worried, then you can come to me, okay? After talking to the stepfather, we were a bit worried about his criminal records and incarceration history because it may impact the safety of the child. Are you hiding inside? <laughs> child Protective Service is able to restrict access between the stepfather and child. However, we still want to facilitate the access because the stepfather is already part of mother's life and if the child is were to return to mother's care, he will also be part of the child's life and hence you want to observe their interactions before that happens. Go away. I'm making tea. Ah, ah. Oh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, uncle. Okay. Remember just now I talked to you about Uncle? Ding! Ding! Hey, uh, Uncle Gid. This is Uncle. Hey. You want to come and meet hey. him? Hi, you want your toy? Wow, very good! Very nice! Yeah! Mm. Hey. It's okay. See? How come? Wow, honey, made it. Letting them meet at MSF gives us a safe testing ground for their interactions. Thank you, Uncle. It's quite normal because it's also like the first time she's actually meeting the stepfather, so like we also did expect that she'll be a bit close, a little shy. Mm. It's your ma. You like the toy? Okay. But I think the good thing is that she also wasn't like really throwing a tantrum or very rejecting of them. Ma. So I guess that's a sign for now that the interactions are quite okay. Go ahead. Want to shake hand with me? Come. Yes. Wow, very good. Thank you. Good girl. We'll leave them to carry on with access for now. <laughs> we actually journey with the families for a period of time, like a year or two. These children, having had very bad experiences at home, they may exhibit or display uh, behaviours that are very challenging as well. So when we see children actually progress, we are also very encouraged. I can tell you in whole life, I don't remember I ever hit him. Since you still insist that the violence is not happening, right? I've gotten consent to show you what he has drawn. Okay. He drew okay. the moustache to represent okay. you, okay. and he drew the weapon. So on base of these things, mm -hmm. you people decided to take care okay. of it. Maybe I, maybe I show you something else instead. This is his drawing of you and Madam. Okay. Subsequently fighting, okay. subsequently in jail. So he no jail? Yes, he does. 